Hi, I'm Kathleen Yamane from Nara University. Today I'm going to be talking about building English skills through ABC World News Tonight broadcasts. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Kathleen Yamane from Nara University. Today I'm going to be talking about building English skills through ABC World News Tonight broadcasts. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Kathleen Yamane from Nara University. Today I'm going to be talking about building English skills through ABC World News Tonight broadcasts. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Kathleen Yamane from Nara University. Today I'm here to introduce ABC World News Tonight broadcasts. So let's get started. The textbook comes packaged with a classroom DVD, a classroom CD, and a very meaty teacher's manual. We know that teaching the news can be challenging for teachers, and we aim to make our product as user-friendly as possible. The teacher's manual includes all the things that you'd expect, translations of the news stories, answers to all of the questions in the textbook, but we go beyond that. It also includes vocabulary review tests for all of the chapters, and links to updated stories. The news videos are streamed on Plus Media, which is Kinsado's online streaming service. It's so simple to use, and there are virtually no glitches at all. Students who purchase a textbook can watch for a full year. Teachers can add subtitles and adjust the speed. And believe me, it was so easy to move to remote teaching and then back to the classroom again. When we select stories for each textbook, we of course aim for variety. Each book contains some feel-good all-American stories, such as the Easter Egg Hunt, which is news story one in this textbook. There's also international news, weather, sports, and environmental news. Book five that we're working on right now include stories about Katanji Brown Jackson's appointment, Don't Say Gay, and the situation in Ukraine. When we're choosing news stories for each textbook, we of course aim for variety. Each one of the textbooks includes some feel-good all-American stories, such as the Easter Egg Hunt, news story one in the current textbook. We also include international news topics, environmental news, weather news, sports world. When we're selecting the contents for each book, we of course aim for variety. Each textbook includes some feel-good, all-American stories such as the Easter Egg Hunt and the Eagle Scouts in this book. We also try to include a sampling of international news stories, environmental news, sports news, etc. Now let's talk about the format of the text. Each news story begins with some preview questions and a vocabulary check to help familiarize the students with some of the important words that they're going to hear. That's followed by the news story, which also has a glossary of some of the key vocabulary that's going to appear. Some of the chapters that might be more challenging for the students also include a section in Japanese about the background of the news story. That's followed by exercises A through E, which include a closed listening exercise that can be done with a DVD, content questions, which are sometimes multiple choice questions, and in other units, true-false questions. That's followed by a dialogue task that includes a translation exercise, a summary, and then some discussion questions that give the students a chance to explore the issue further and do some critical thinking. Some of the units also include useful grammar from the news and pronunciation hints from the news. Now let's talk a little bit about the format of each chapter. Each one of the 15 units in the textbook opens with preview questions and a vocabulary check. That's followed by the news story, which often has a short glossary of key vocabulary and terms. Some of the more challenging units in the textbook also include a background of the news section which is written in Japanese to help the students and the teachers understand fully the background of the story. After that, there are five sets of exercises A through E. 
The A questions are a closed listening exercise intended to be done with the CD. That's followed by content questions, which in some units are multiple choice questions and in others true-false questions. Following that is a translation exercise in the form of a dialogue. Exercise E is a summary practice exercise, which we often also use for shadowing practice. And exercise E includes two or three discussion questions, uh, which require the students to think a little bit more deeply about some of the topics in the news story and do some critical thinking. Some units also include useful grammar from the news and pronunciation hits from the news. Now let's talk a little bit about the format of each chapter. Each of the 15 units opens with preview questions and a vocabulary check. After that is the news story itself, which is usually followed by a short glossary of key vocabulary and terms. Some of the more challenging chapters in the textbook also include a background of the news section, which is written in Japanese. That's to help the students and the teachers understand more fully the background of that news story. After that, there are five sets of exercises, A through E. The A questions are a closed listening exercise intended to be done with the CD. That's followed by content questions, which in some of the units are multiple choice questions and in others, true-false questions. Following that is a translation exercise in the form of a short conversation. Exercise D is a summary exercise, which in my class we also use for shadowing practice. Finally, exercise E includes two or three discussion questions, which require the students to think a bit more deeply about some of the topics in the news story and to do some critical thinking. Some units also include useful grammar from the news and pronunciation hints from the news. My goals as the course instructor are actually a bit different. I want the students to be regularly accessing the news, to pay attention to what's going on in the world. For the most part, when they start the course, they don't really pay much attention to the news. They get the headlines, mainly through the form of little snippets from Yahoo, which I suppose is better than nothing, but I want them to be better informed, to think more deeply about what's happening in the world, and to have an opportunity to discuss that. I also aim to help them improve their guessing or inferencing skills, using visual clues, paying attention to captions, to context, and through general knowledge. Finally, I want to give the students plenty of practice expressing their opinions. 